Hello, this is Spyreg teaching you about how to use drop downs with a gamepad. So right now you can see that I'm scrolling with a gamepad. Nothing happens with the scroll bar on the right. You can select with the gamepad still, but it doesn't update the view at all. Now, how do you fix that? Well, for some reason the standalone input module doesn't do this with gamepads for some reason. I think they just were designing for touch and mouse alone. So if you're using just touch and mouse and you don't need to worry about gamepads, then feel free to just use that and you know be happy but if you need that to update you can just enable a scroll rect auto scroll script that was online and you can see that it scrolls with your gamepad now so how does that script work let's go look at it so basically it's going to take a scroll rect which is on your template underneath the drop down so it, let's say this is my drop down let's enable it real quick so this is my drop down here it's not populated until code runs and that determines what available resolutions there are this is the template which has the scroll rect here which you're going to be modifying And so it has a scroll speed, which determines how fast it'll scroll. It has mouse over. It has which selectables are there in the list. It has your scroll rect. It has the next scroll position. And then these two are ones I've added because I'm using rewired. Or if you're using in control, you might want to use that here too as well. So let's scroll to the most important part, which is lines 58 to line 60. So this is where your inputs will decide whether or not to scroll to the selected part of the view. So with rewired, you get the player, and then you can get axis, and these are the axes I have the axes I have defined. So with input, you just do get axis for controller inputs for the joysticks, or get axis horizontal for horizontal inputs. So it's vertical or horizontal, and then the same thing with buttons. You can do button down if you want the first frame that they're pressed down, or if you, they're held down, you can do just get button. So obviously there's some redundancy there, but if, it doesn't really matter, because either way, it's just an or. So either way, as soon as you have one, it'll just say, yes, this is true, go on to the next, the next thing. So where did this script come from? Well, this is a modified script from Qubits Dev. It's by Mandarin X. I modified it a little bit more to add rewired just in case the inputs uh, don't work properly with the default Unity inputs. And where you can go to edit that is in Project Settings, Input Manager, and you can see these axes here. It, normally it'll look like this, but you can expand it and you can see horizontal. And horizontal, this will be key or mouse buttons, like left or right. And then there's also joysticks right here. See, so it says joystick axis, x axis, get motion from all joysticks. Same thing with the vertical, same concept. Right here, joystick axis, y axis. And here, up, down, w, s, blah, 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 ad. Okay, so you have the basics now. All you had to do is go to a drop down. I'm going to just remove this temporarily and show you all you have to do. So here's your drop down. You're going to go to its child, which is the template. You're going to go to scroll, rect auto scroll, and just enable it. If you're using a rewired player, you have to give it the player ID here. Otherwise, you're just going to have a scroll speed. And to show you what a drop down looks like temporarily, I'll just do a quick UI drop down and show you. Let's do Text Master Pro. See, it has a template right there. Same concept. You just do a scroll direct auto scroll, and that should fix it for you. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.